Hey, welcome guys and uh, this is the second video on the asymmetric uh, reactions and previously I made a video on the reaction of asymmetric aldol if you mi miss the video you can check it out I put the description I put the link in the description section so in this video I am going to discuss about the core boxy battery reagent so stay tuned <laughs> So what is Koreboxy Shibata reaction? So this is a very important asymmetric uh, reduction reaction and in this case a catalyst is used to asymmetrically reduce a carbonyl. So you can see that this is an unsymmetrical uh, ketone where you have two groups, one is large group or one, and one is small group. But there is no chiral centers in the molecule and you can see that there is a plane of symmetry throughout the molecule so the molecule is asymmetric and if you use any reagent, uh, a chiral reagent like lithium aluminum hybrid or other uh, like that, you cannot get a selectivity. The attack on the bo uh, through both phase is equal. This is why we have to design a catalyst that, that will give a selective reduction and that is done by this core epoxy cibata reagent and in this case you get this product. So if you uh, identify the two phases of this compound so you can uh, according to CIP nomenclature you can give A then uh, B group B and it is C. So it is your ABC it is anti-clockwise so you can see this is psi phase. So the above phase is psi phase and you can see the attack is uh, hydride is attacking on the above phase. So uh, when, whenever you use core epoxy cibata reagent the attack is always attacking uh, uh, taking place through the psi phase and you get this product you can uh, also put the nomenclature so here oh, A, B, C, D and you can see A, B, C although it is anti-clockwise but hydrogen is uh, near to you so this is R configuration. So uh, to remember the outcome of this reaction which is important for competitive exam is that whenever you use core epoxy cibata reagent and you have an unsymmetrical ketone where you have one large group and one small group and obviously the large group should have priority less than oxygen then only this rule is applicable and most of the cases they give you like one side they give phenyl one side hydrogen or one side tart butyl another side methyl like this and you can easily apply this um, uh, particular mnemonic to get your product so so what you have to remember is that attack is always taken place through the C phase and you will get R product. Now I will discuss what is the mechanism, what is the transition state through which the reaction passed through to give you this particular product. You can see this is the standard Koreboxy Sibata CBS catalyst which is used in the reaction and it is derived from L-proline. So this is the structure of L-proline and uh, it is derived from this so there are several steps for this you don't need to know, uh, know that for this particular case you can get it any book so this is the core boxy sibata uh, reagent now in the first step what happens is that so one thing i uh, forget to tell you previously that first step you have to put bh3 uh, boron uh, hydride you have to put now what will happen this boron will coordinate with this nitrogen you can see this although this nitrogen is already coordinated with this boron but it has again one lone pair it has free lone pair so it can coordinate with this boron and in this case i will just rotate this structure same structure i will write but just i will rotate it so if i rotate it i will get a structure like this you can see and here you have this boron and you have this oxygen and if I rotate it, you can see this, this is above the plane, but when I rotate it, it will be below the plane. So, it will look like uh, something like this. Actually, I should draw it like this. That is, it is indicating that it, it is below the plane. And so, hydrogen will be above the plane. And now, this BH3 will coordinate with this nitrogen. So here you will have a positive charge and here you will have a negative charge. And this boron, it has another methyl group. It is present, you can see this methyl group is there. Now what happens is that the keto, which I indicate like this RL and RS. So this keto will coordinate with it. So how it will coordinate? 
you can see this oxygen lone pair can coordinate with this boron so i can write the keto here so it can coordinate with this boron i can represent it like a full bond so there will be a positive charge and there will be a negative charge when this keto uh, bind with this boron so it will uh, donate electron density from oxygen to boron so making the boron negative and oxygen positive uh, positive and now here you will have two r groups one is rl and one is rs right now you have to draw so you can see now now if i uh, number this uh, particular transition state it is 1 2 3 4 5 6 so it is a six member transition state and it, it will also go through the uh, chair like transition state so i have to now draw the chair like transition state and that i can draw like this and i can put this nitrogen at the top so here i will put this nitrogen and now you can see you i have to make a chair so this is how the chair form will look like now you can see the nitrogen is directly bind to this boron atom so here you will have another uh, one boron and another boron will be here okay now uh, you can see uh, this this particular uh, ketone i will represent here so here you will have this oxygen so i so i completed the skeleton now i have to put the other atoms like so here you will have this oxygen this oxygen you will have here and the methyl group will be here okay and this boron you can see there are three hydrogen so two hydrogens will be there and another hydrogen will be here and you can put other groups on this so it will be nothing but this and this and here you will have a five member ring like this you can see this five member ring this five member ring is here and another five member ring will be here so it is completed this part is completed and you don't have to worry too much about that because the most important thing which is uh, re responsible for this stereo selectivity is occurring here now you have to put arrange this two r groups rl and rs and how you will arrange them so you can see in a any cycloids and chair form you have two position one is axial and one is equatorial and you know that large group always prefer to stay in the equatorial position so this rl group you will place here and the rs group you will place here and if you follow this you can see that you will get a product where you have the rs group here rl group here and now you can see this oxygen is actually uh, going uh, far from your board so this is your oxygen i can directly putting oh here because uh, after the work up you will get oh here and this hydrogen will be here okay so this structure the same structure i can now draw the same structure i can now draw like this where you have rl here and rs here and this is your hydrogen and this is your oh so you can see uh, the attack is occurring on the c phase and it is your a b c uh, anti clockwise hydrogen is uh, above so it is r configuration so this is how you get the stereo selectivity in core boxy sibata reaction so this is a very important reaction and several times in csir exam questions comes from this topic so you have to familiar with that so the main stereo selectivity is how you should arrange this r groups in your transition state so i hope that uh, you enjoy the video and i am able to explain the aspect different different aspect the transition state involved in this reaction so if you like the video then please give thumbs up uh, because that indicates that the video is uh, helpful for you the you like the video and it will also increase my confidence and also subscribe my channel and share this video with your friends so thank you for watching